Welcome everybody to our brand new series from Martin Guitar. This is Pro Tips. My name is Dave Dahl. And for those of you who don't know me, uh, I've been at Martin Guitar for about 25 years now and uh, have sort of done it all from working on the floor to being a manager, to being a clinician, to shooting videos like this to help you all with your guitar choices and tech tips and those kinds of things. I've also been a performing musician for pretty much all of my life. So, um, Really excited to share with you some of the experiences that I have had and uh, some of the, the cool things that we have going on here at Martin Guitar. Now for our first episode today, we're gonna be focusing on beginners. So those of you who've been playing guitar for a long time, you can hang out and listen to some stuff and, and see if you uh, identify with some of these things. And maybe you can even help out another beginner that you have um, in your family or, or whatever. So this one's for beginners. This is choosing your first Martin Guitar. So, in choosing your first guitar, there's really no right or wrong answer, right? It's not like, oh, well, I, I know that such and such plays this guitar, so I have to have that guitar. That guitar might not necessarily work for you. So, the best advice that I could give to start with is go to your local music store, uh, come and see us at Martin Guitar. We have a bunch of guitars in the lobby for people to play. What you need to do is sit down with an instrument and uh, find out if that instrument fits you correctly. You know, if you're smaller, you might want a smaller body size. We have those. If you're big like me, a small body might be uncomfortable for you to crouch over. So that's a big part of it, finding the instrument that fits you, first of all. Second, you want to make sure that the instrument is set up properly. And what I mean by set up, um, that is how easily it is for you to actually play chords and notes. It's the distance from the strings to the frets. Um, and if you're a beginner, I understand. Uh, I'm already throwing terms at you, you might not understand, but it's okay. We'll explain all of this as the video goes on. Um, but that's basically the idea. You have to sit down, you have to find the guitar that's right for you. Um, that's a big part of it. So many new guitarists are discouraged immediately. Uh, the guitar is too hard to play. My hand doesn't bend that way. It's uncomfortable. My arm hurts, my back hurts. This is, some of it's normal. Some things are gonna hurt. You're gonna find that nearly every guitar is a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning. It's an awkward position to be in. Your hands are gonna be doing two things that you're not used to them doing. Again, finding the right tool to do the job you're looking for is key. We're gonna show you a whole bunch of tips in this video, what to look for to make sure you get the right choice. All right, guys, so the first guitar that we're gonna be looking at is our LX. Now, if you're not familiar with these, these are obviously a very short scale guitar, um, very small. Great travel guitar for those of you that actually want to go camping and uh, travel a lot and still want to play. But um, this is a fantastic instrument to learn on for pretty much anybody, especially kids because of its small size. The short scale, um, which means the distance from the nut to the bridge here, that small scale actually puts a lot less tension on the strings. So just by the nature of the design, it's already easier to play. It's already easier to press those strings down. Uh, it's a big complaint when you're first learning how to play is, oh, my fingers hurt. You don't get those calluses for a long time. Um, but this is uh, a great instrument to start on. Um, it's a great instrument to keep for a long time too. These things are very, very durable, uh, just in their construction. They do have a spruce top, the back and sides are a high pressure laminate material. The neck is called Stratabond. The material it's made out of is Stratabond, which was actually made for rifle stocks. And so you can imagine the strength that it has. Um, it also has a two-way adjustable truss rod in it. So again, I know beginners, I'm throwing text terms out. Uh, the idea is you can take these things to any technician, any qualified technician, and they'll be able to keep these guitarist playing properly for a really long time. So even after you outgrow this instrument, say you wanna move on to something bigger, um, maybe different shape, maybe different tone woods, you can certainly do that. You can still definitely keep this guitar. I have three of these myself, and they're absolutely fantastic, like I said, to travel with, go camping with, any of those things. So LX is a great one to start with. Now here in front of me, we have basically what we consider the next level up. This is a Triple O Junior. So you have a slightly bigger body size. You might notice a couple other little differences. We also have a cutaway. What that means is this bit is 
cutaway that gives you access to these higher frets. So now as you develop as a player, maybe you want to get into more lead playing, more solo playing, find out what these notes up here sound like. Uh, without this, it's going to make it really hard to reach these. Here you get access all the way up to the sound hole, basically. Um, some other differences with this instrument. Still has a spruce top. Now we have some binding on the top just to dress it up a little bit more. Uh, instead of HPL, we have Sapili back and sides. We have a hardwood neck, still rich light fingerboard and bridge. This guitar also has electronics in it. So if you wanna play with an amp, if you wanna plug directly into recording software, if you've gotten to that point, you wanna start writing your own songs and recording them, rather than using a mic, you can just plug right in through the electronics port into a uh, port to your computer uh, or any other kind of recording software and just go from there. So again, another fantastic guitar for beginners or the novice, another fantastic guitar to keep in your collection. These are still very durable, still travel great. Um, it's a good guitar to just play at coffee houses, any kind of gig. Uh, another one to keep in the arsenal, but another good place to start. We have the next size up. Um, those of you who are not familiar, this is our D body shape, otherwise known as a dreadnought body shape. This is one of the biggest sizes that we make at Martin Guitar. Uh, it's also one of the most familiar and recognized guitar shapes in the industry. Um, I would be remiss to not mention that this particular instrument is brand new for 2024. It's part of our remastered X series. Um, part of that remastering um, and re-unveiling of our X series is some of the new HPL that we have. Um, this is to look like Brazilian rosewood, if you can see. Those of you who are not familiar, Brazilian rosewood um, is on the endangered species list and has been since 1967. Um, it's very, very expensive, but it's an incredible tone wood. So it's super cool that we can now put this on a um, reasonably priced instrument and uh, show off what Brazilian rosewood can look like. Right. Some of the other things with this instrument, you have hardwood neck, you have hardwood fingerboard and bridge. The bridge is also shaped and smoothed over so it doesn't have any sharp edges on it for more added comfort. Um, for those of you who are looking for bigger sound, um, maybe a little bit bigger than say the Junior or the LX would give, this is definitely going to give you that. If you started singing, you need something to keep up with your voice, this would be perfect for that. If you started playing with a couple of your friends, Again, this is great for an ensemble. This also has electronics in it as well. So same with the Junior, you can plug it in. Um, you can record with it, play live with it. Um, again, next great step in your budding career. So here's an example of something you may not have thought of if you're a beginner. Wanted to bring out a ukulele. Um, it's a little bit different from a guitar. Obviously it only has four strings. So. If you have someone that's very young, um, we could show somebody how to play a ukulele. You could be playing chords on a ukulele in 15, 20 seconds. Um, just being able to make music easily on something like this can, uh, you know, show a, a child, for example, um, the world that's in front of them, right? And you're just opening up this thing like, I can do this thing, I can make music instead of just banging on, you know, a, a cheap instrument or something like that. Like, you can actually have a, a very young child make music on this pretty much instantly. Um, so again, great instrument to keep in your arsenal, even if uh, you're not a beginner, even if you just wanna have a ukulele. Um, again, if you're started recording with the other instruments that I've shown, you wanna start layering instruments, throw a ukulele on top of there, put a ukulele track on just to you know build your song up. See, I've even given you creative ideas for how to write your music. So there's really no limit to the things that you can do with the things that are in our instrument line. And uh, I haven't really even touched on all of the other options that you have available to you. This is just a few. So here's the deal, everybody. Like I said, the beginning of the video there's no right or wrong answer for choosing your first guitar the idea is just choosing the right guitar for you so you have to get out you got to play these instruments you got to get them in your hand whether it's one of the smallest instruments that we make one of the biggest or something in the middle it doesn't even have to be in this line you could choose something we have our 15 series we have our standard series you could start out with a d45 if you want to it's up to you whatever speaks to you. These are just instruments that can kind of get you 
you know, in the game, so to speak. So if you found this video helpful, uh, like and subscribe. There's gonna be a whole lot more of our pro tips series coming your way. Um, in the comments section, if you'd like to leave some questions, if you'd like to leave a story with your own experiences as a beginner starting out with guitars, we'd love to hear those as well. Uh, again, first episode, lots more episodes on the way. Hope to see you.